Hi, this is Techbus. I recently made another switch mode pass of prime. The output is 12 volts and the current is up to 20 years. It can be used for uh, as a driver for MOSFETs or IGBT half bridge or as a lamp bench pass apply for projects that don't require much power. The schematics of the project is as shown and this is how it will look like. So at the input, it should be powered by 100 to 240 volts AC, or basically about 80 to 320 volts DC. So there is a small filter capacitor to eliminate any switching noise generated by the power supply. There is a current limiting resistor to limit the inrush current when the bulk capacitor is changing. This is the bridge rectifier and the storage capacitor. So the, if you want more power, you can use the MJE 1307 to increase the output power. So the overall schematics are shown. So the transformer is a core with a cross-section area of at least 1.5 square millimeters. So when winding the core, the primary is run by making 27 turns of 0.2 millimeters enamel wire or magnet wire, then make about five layers of insulation tape, then make the secondary winding nine turns then add another five layers of insulation then make the auxiliary winding four turns then you can add three layers of insulation then make the remaining 27 turns that way the secondary and auxiliary feedback winding they are sandwiched between the primary to enhance coupling so the core is ferret which is used in high frequency switch mode power surprise so the way this works is Initially, some current will find its way to the base of the transistor, turning it on partially. This will allow current to flow through the primary winding, and this will reduce current in the auxiliary winding, which will increase the base bias through this capacitor. So the transistor will remain in conduction until the capacitor is completely discharged. So once the current buildup in the primary is at its maximum, the current will begin to collapse, and so. There is negative feedback in the auxiliary winding which will force the switching transistor to close very fast until it's completely turned off. So when this happens, current is induced in the secondary winding, the stored magnetic energy is converted to voltage and current and this is rectified by the output diode and this storage capacitor ensures that the output remains very speedy. So, there's an optocopra for isolating the output footage and the main side as well as allowing for feedback to be realized. So, for precision feedback, the tier 494 footage reference IC is used. So, by changing the value of the resistor R1, in this case it's 4.7 kilo ohms, you can adjust the output footage to any desired value from 5 volts all the way to 24 volts. So, when 2 volts is developed at this node, the IC will turn on and this will cause the internal LED of the copra to be eliminated since current will flow through and this will provide feedback to the switching transistor since it will just turn on and connect the base terminal to ground through the internal transistor so this will ensure that the duty cycle is limited thereby the output voltage does not increase any further So these are some shots. This is the final project. If you make a PCB, ensure that there is enough separation between the primary side and the secondary side. So this is the switching transformer which has been completed. This is the windings. So you begin by making the primary winding, then all the insulation, then the secondary winding then you see it and so on so that's all about this simple switch mode pass apply don't forget to like this video comment if you have any questions or suggestions and subscribe for more amazing projects and tutorials and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified about future uploads
have a nice time.